So Jermaine is Sher- uh, Sher- Sherrod Smith. Smith. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so how long were you, before he got with Coach Stormy, how long were you and Jermaine together? Seven years. Seven years. Seven years. Okay. From what year to what year? Uh, I think it was like 2013 to almost 19 or something like that. Okay. Like 13. 13 and 19. Okay. Now I have to put this out. I have to say this uh, while we're live and while the camera's rolling. I can't, I, I like I'm stunned at how similar you and coach Stormy Wellington look. <laughs> the face structure, the hair. She gave her doctor my face. Oh. And so men tend to, you, just like we have a type. Wow. Right? Men tend to have a type as well, too. And so if you don't mind, you mind just, like, just standing up. You don't have yeah. to model or yeah. anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But your her body, before we get into the relationship between you and Jermaine, uh, that happened over a course of seven years, it still is ongoing. Correct. Okay? And it's gotten uh, very uh, legal and, and very heavy, heavily legal. Correct. And so um, was Stormy in the picture while you were in the picture at all were you guys both dating jermaine at the same time while you had children and i guess maybe he met her did you guys ever cross paths there's that there's a there there comes a point in time where um you have to speak up right Mm -hmm. and because people don't know who i am and don't know what i stand for instagram has made fake people real right yeah these two individuals so mr nick mr nick cannon at this point, I think there has to be some family therapy involved. Where's Ayana when you need her? Okay. Um, it being, especially, being that this is the only black mother that he has a child with. The darkest child. Okay. They should have named the baby that. The darkest child. Yeah, I like it. It just stands out. It's perfect. It's brandable. You understand what I'm saying? Special baby, you know? And so um, here's here's the problem that I have with Miss Lanisha Nicole. I told y'all, sort of. I let y'all guess who she was. I put up a picture and let y'all guess. Y'all did a really good job. Matter of fact, I told y'all all the baby mamas, okay? Before before he even told y'all, before the dice was rolled, when he was coming in them, I let y'all know the date and the time in which the sperm planted with the egg, okay? That's, that's how... That's how I own it. We are on it. Okay? Now, Miss Lanisha Nicole denied. Denied, 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 and said that this man was not her baby father. Matter of fact, she said she wasn't pregnant at all. She wasn't pregnant. Okay? She had no child. Didn't come to find out. Tasha K was right. She was eight months pregnant. Eight months pregnant. Okay? And then he at the bedside holding the baby. His first black baby. He better have been there. He, he could not have missed this. Okay? Better have been there. He did this. This is for y'all. This is for y'all. Now, uh, given all of the, the children that are at, you know, um, that are here, of no fault of their own, children are absolute blessings. You know, I love kids as long as they're, you know, I love my two, but it's, I, I can love yours as long as they don't stay with me. You know? So, um, they... You know, you bring their own food, you know, lunchbox when you drop them off and they leave with their juice box when it's time to go home. You know, clothes too. I'm not washing clothes. I'm doing none of that. Okay, that's your baby. I'm just temp babysitting. Okay? And I do a, I do a lot of babysitting. I do. Well, Tantu does. <laughs> I got a 15 year old, so she does the babysitting. You know, she like a little change, like a little $20. You know what I'm saying? Who you can find to babysit a three year old for $20? Who? Tantu. That's who. Gotta love a 15-year-old. But when she turns 16 and she start paying for gas money and, and car insurance and stuff, you have to raise that price. Watch. <laughs> but, so she said, for now, it's a discounted rate. So, Miss Lanisha denied, 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 denied. Said that she wasn't pregnant. Said there was no child here. You know what I'm saying? Did, didn't want nothing to do with the shenanigans at all, although she had laid down and decided to be this man's first black baby mama, okay? That is monumental in itself, okay? That is like Obama and Michelle becoming the first black president and first lady of a country, okay? You don't think they received death threats? You don't think they just received death threats? So when she get online to say that people are giving her and her baby death threats, let me tell you something, what happened? 
We, 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 this, this is what happens, okay? He has established a certain criteria, okay? Which means he has already branded him and his babies for a certain demographic. You follow me here? I worked in PR. So this demographic suits a certain demographic, okay? We're talking colors here. We're talking levels and layers, all right? And so when he steps outside, it's just like us having white presidents for all these years, and then we got a black one. People don't know how to take that. They don't know how to take that. And so guess what? They start to get emotional because they thought that it was for them and nobody else. So everyone that he made a baby with and the fans that followed him, you know what I'm saying, thought that these babies were for him and to help populate their race. But then he got enough backlash from the black community and he decided to bring his black queen. <laughs> She's beautiful. She's beautiful. I'm not, no cap here. She's a beautiful woman. He did good. She got European features. He thought that it would be a great crossover. But no, being that she denied her own child and then denied the pregnancy, denied that this man was her baby father already, I had to, already when I told y'all the date of conception because I kept track of his sperm on my phone. I got it. I got the calendar of Nick Cannon's sperm on my phone and when it's implanted and when they are ovulating. Okay? I have it. I'm going to let you know when the next one is, is implanted, okay? Hold on. I'm getting something. I'm getting something. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He just made another baby. So, just made another baby. Yeah. Now, um, I, I just, I, I don't feel sorry for her at all. Now, I'm not saying in no way that a baby or anybody deserves death threats, but you have to understand what you did here. What you did here was monumental. It's no different than President Obama and Michelle Obama being elected to be the, fir the, the first black president, first lady, first black first lady, President, you know what I'm saying? That comes with some shit. You got to understand. So this man should have had you in counseling so that you could prepare for your role. This is uh, this is, is, is monumental as being Coretta Scott King. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this is a whole nother lane he's getting into. And then your children, not only that, your baby... So your baby is getting death threats. Now, why, first of all, why post the baby that you said wasn't, he, what, wasn't real? Why well, post a baby that you didn't want to claim? You know what I'm saying? You didn't want no part of You didn't even want the world to know that you had a baby on the way. You know what I'm saying? You, you, why post a baby for that? You know what I'm saying? Why, why, why even post a baby? So your baby a month old. He around here show off, showing the baby off. This man ain't said nothing to these followers about sending death threats to his baby because he don't give a shit. He used to this. But he has failed to prepare you for the role in which you chose to walk in. And I just feel that, you know, there has to be some counsel because the baby is going to go through a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's going to go through a lot. I'll tell you a prime example. Ex-friend of mine, right? Ex-friend. Ex-friend for a very good reason, right? Um, reason being is because she chose to have babies, right, with a white man because she wanted light-skinned kids, right? So when my children come around, her children, because, and, and this woman is the same color as my baby, is my child. You know what I'm saying? Her kids say, well, Tonto is the darkest here. Why are you so dark? Where the hell did you get that from when your mama dark? Where did you get that from? You know what I'm saying? Because people, the, the, the people really think like this. And so, like, before you take a step and you want to cross over and do something monumental, something that's never been done in your family, something you've never done, something that you are literally, uh, uh, um, you know what I'm saying, birthing out of insecurities and, and shit like that, you have to get a therapist. You have to get some sort of family therapy. And he's going to have to because these other kids are going to ask, Daddy, why does this baby look different? They're going to ask. What's wrong with the hair, Daddy? What's wrong with the hair? Even though our mama's beautiful, that baby is beautiful, that baby is gorgeous, okay? But my thing she shouldn't have posted the baby until they all had a kumbaya moment. Turn off the comments. Turn off the comments, okay? Because everybody's still trying to figure out how it is that you have a baby that you said that you didn't want, that you didn't have when we told you, when we told everybody that you had a baby. You didn't. We can't make this up. You said you ain't want a baby. So they, they're repeating exactly what you said, okay? I just can't make this up. <sighs> Where's Ayana and her Newport? I want her to have Nick 
down on the ground by his neck, holding his neck like this. Teddy, say hey. I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce my co-host. Hold on for a second. Hey, hey, my co-host, Teddy, okay? Been with us since the beginning, since the very, very beginning, okay? Teddy's a drunkard, okay? Ted, Teddy is a drunkard. So you got to excuse him. He got his $1 million, he got his $1 million plaque and say he's done. He's retired. So he's just here for moral support. Now, back to the, the to the uh, situation at hand. I, I want to see Ayana with Nick's neck in the dirt. In the dirt. Okay? And I want her to ask him how many babies. No, let me shut up. Moving on. Beep. Listen, before we move on, okay? Who else we got? Mason Diddy. Hold on for a second. Ray J and Princess and threesomes, okay? 